What is it? Oh, it's nothing. I get this occasional twinge in my arm. I broke it when I was a child. Oh, don't talk to me about broken arms. Why? Because I'm not interested. <laughs> Mrs. Bartlett! I've got some marvellous news. They've got a new wonder drug for that arthritis of yours. So no more pain and no side effects. How about that, eh? Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, I know. Just one more thing. What day is it today? April the 1st. April Fool. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, eh? Oh, dear, some people have got no sense of humour. Will you stop doing that? It's only for a laugh. I got Arnie with a beauty this morning. I told him I was pregnant. Oh, my God. I bet he was relieved when you said April Fool. I, I haven't yet. I'm leaving him to stew. <laughs> you are a cruel, vindictive woman. Why Piers is promoting you, I cannot imagine. What do you mean, promoting me? He's making you practice coordinator, didn't you know? With more money. Oh, yes! <laughs> Power at last! Oh, I haven't felt this happy since Bambi's mother got shot. <laughs> When did he tell you? He didn't. April Fool got gotcha. <laughs> It's not funny, that's just sick. And uh, if it hasn't dropped off in a couple of days, come back. Well, thank you, Doctor. Mm. By the way, do you smoke? No, I've never smoked. Well, maybe you should start. <laughs> yes. According to the latest research, it isn't actually harmful and it does a lot to calm the nerves. Is that right? Mm. As an April Fool, that is truly evil. I oh, know, I wish I'd thought of it. <laughs> this isn't an April Fool, I'm absolutely serious. You should all take up smoking. Isn't actually harmful? What latest research? It's in all the papers, Janet. Research carried out by a um, <clears throat> leading doctor. <laughs> you? I've done a lot of work on the subject. And who paid for that? The fact I was paid by Capital Tobacco is neither here nor there. <laughs> I was left free to form my own conclusions based on all the available data. What available data? The data they gave me. But they weren't hiding anything. How do you know? Because they told me. Oh dear. I hope you're not suggesting that my ethical standards are slipping. Oh no, they're the same as ever. We have got to stop this. Ah, oh, don't worry, Johnny. Only an idiot would take up smoking on his say so. Morning, George. Morning, Doctor. Nice to know these are good for you. <laughs> George, come with me. Why? What's the matter? Give me that. But he said these are good for you. He's working for a tobacco company. What does that tell you? He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Trust me, these are not good for you. And how do I know you're not lying? Why on earth would I lie to you? Well, you lied to me this morning. This morning? Oh, that. That was different. George, wake up. Ollie's been kidnapped by space pirates. What? They came while you were asleep and snatched him. <gasps> oh, my boy. My poor, poor boy. They've taken him to a galaxy far, far away. Oh, damn those space pirates. I'll get him back. Which way did they go? April Fool. What? <laughs> April Fool, the look on your face. Janet, I know you're hysterical, but concentrate. Which way did they go? Oh, George, it's okay. I'll get him back, don't you worry. He's here. I'm here, Daddy. Don't be fooled, Janice. They've replaced him with a fake baby. No, George. That's what these space pirates do. George! I just hope they haven't got lost in the time tunnels of Tartarus. <laughs> I didn't warn you this might happen, Mummy. He's just an April Fool. I know. I get it now. In fact, it was very funny. Really? Yeah. Actually, I thought it was so funny, I've decided to play one on you. Right. <laughs> Believe me, you will not see this one coming. I think I might. Anyway, I'd better be... Oh, no, something terrible has happened, Janet. I wonder what. I've just sniffed that the sun has spun out of orbit. <laughs> this is really serious. <clears throat> the sun has spun out of orbit, and the Earth's about to be destroyed. Destroyed? But we'll all die. I'm too young to die. <laughs> don't worry, darling, I was only joking. Oh, please, George, don't let me die. Save me. It was just a joke. Please don't cry. Don't cry, Janet. Got you again. <laughs> Wow! How did you know I was joking? George, you cannot do an April Fool giggling, and also you can't do one when you just told me you're going to do one. Right. So do one on me later, when I've forgotten it's April Fool's Day. Gotcha. Have you forgotten yet? No. In fact, forget about me. Do one on someone else. Those notes you wanted. Mrs Raven, we've just had some terrible news. Apparently, the sun has spun out of orbit, and the Earth's about to be destroyed. Good. I hate this planet. <laughs> Maybe not, Mrs. Raven. And finally, we've been seeing a new side of Firmaman this morning. An hour ago, he flew over Beijing shouting, Earthquake, Earthquake. 
then returned two minutes later shouting April Fool. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Chinese didn't understand the concept of April Fool and evacuated the city anyway. This is the best fun ever. <laughs> and I've just thought of a corker for your mother. Oh, you're not going to upset her. It's just a laugh, Janet. That's all it is. Hello, Ella. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Janet's been knocked down by a truck and lost both her legs. <laughs> yes, she's unconscious and legless. <laughs> she's crying. <laughs> this is hilarious. She is going to laugh so much when I tell her. <clears throat> oh, and there's just one more thing, Ella. 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 <laughs> Sorry you fainted, Mum. How are you feeling? What do you think I'm feeling? I've got a black eye and I can hardly move my neck. Well, you shouldn't wear such a high collar. It doesn't suit you. <laughs> it's a brace, you pillock. Fortunately, they've done some tests at the hospital and they don't think there's any permanent damage. Oh, Mum. And? And what? April Fool, very convincing. You nearly had me going for a minute. <laughs> what? Come on, you're not hurt at all. You're just getting your own back. Let's get that brace off. <laughs> She's been in hospital. Oh, you're joining in now. This is great. Come on, you old fraud. Oh, stop it! A oh, black eye indeed. You don't fool me. <laughs> ah. So this isn't an April Fool. You'd better apologise for yours. We're very cross about it. I thought you'd be delighted. Your daughter's not injured. Well, of course we're not delighted. Don't you like your daughter? Well, it's not a matter. <laughs> don't waste your breath, Stanley. Come on. We always knew you were an idiot. We didn't know you were a sick idiot. Mum. We'll see ourselves out. Sorry. Sometimes sorry just isn't good enough. Daddy, do you know what happens when you upset Granny and Grandpa? Yes, they hate me. No, they feel sorry for me and give me more presents. You keep it up. <laughs> Master, I am so depressed. Why? What happened? This morning, Arnie here told me there was this woman who fancied me. What woman? Anna Kornikova. <laughs> he said if I dressed like this and stood at the bus stop on North Holt High Street, that Anna would meet me and take me out on my first ever date. <laughs> so I waited there for six hours and you know what? She never turned up. You got some offers. Yeah, but no Anna. Oh, Tyler, don't you get it? It's an April Fool. Why would Anna Kornikova play an April Fool on me? I don't even know the woman. Oh, Arnie, how could you? Hey, Janet, if people are stupid enough to believe April Fools, they deserve everything they get. You ready to go? Where are you going? Ultron. Mrs. Raven's pregnant. I got to tell the Ultron Council. And we ain't married, so I'm in a lot of trouble. Actually, she's no fair enough. You go and face the music. You don't mind me taking him? Frankly, the mood I'm in at the moment, you'd best stay out of my way for a bit. Point taken. Is Daddy ever coming home, Mummy? I don't know, darling. You did tell him to keep out of your way for a bit. Yes, but I didn't mean for seven years. <laughs> Sometimes I think he's only half a brain. Mummy, that's my Daddy you're talking about. Sorry. He's got no brain at all. <laughs> I'd better be going. Ooh. Where are you off to? There's some floods in Wales and then the Prime Minister is desperate to see me. Oh, what does Mr Prescott want? <laughs> I'm teaching him English. <laughs> here's your helmet. And here's your lunchbox. 